Hi guys. All right, we're back. Um, and yes, we're still rocking a migraine, so we will see how this goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there was something under my paper making it weird. Um, today we are on day 12, and we are doing Kintsuki houses. Um, and Kintsuki is the Japanese, I believe it's Japanese, form of repairing pottery with um, gold or pewter, silver, that kind of thing. So, of course, we're working with paper, so that's what I was going to do. Um, I like to build houses. See, I have houses. These are my houses, some of my, my houses. I like houses very much, and I'm still going to try to do houses, I think, with paper. But if you joined me for yesterday's craziness, this is tomorrow's page. Don't let me forget. Tomorrow's page is the pink one. Um, because tomorrow's magical creatures and I have an idea. Um, yesterday, if you guys remember, there was a crash in the background and I broke my gnome that we haven't altered yet. So I busted him, the whole back of him, knocked him off the shelf over there. So, yep, I had an idea. No clue if it'll work. But with that, this is going to be our background page. This will be undoubtedly cut over two pages so we might even I didn't check the book we might get to add to the sides I should have measured yes yes I should have and I did not because my freaking head hurts and I can't think of these things ahead of time so hang on a second we might get to add to it but for now this is all we're worried about because it's just the background and we're going to add to it of course and I treated this with this is Louisa Hensel's paper and um Yesterday's uh, Effie in the bed. Uh, where is he at? Just a minute. Remember we made Effie yesterday, so I cut Effie out of the bed. He's oh look, it spins, guys. Look, it spins. Do 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 do. See, spins are on. There's our there's our Halloween and our Christmas, depending on his dream and. I have the skull in the background. I'll put a little tea light in there, which I haven't gotten to. That's why it's still open. And then it'll light up. And then you'll be able to see the skull better that's back there floating around in the background. I should have made small skulls, and I might still change it. I haven't decided. But it does work. That's the point. Um, so that Effie came from here. And that's okay, because we're going to use this as part of the background to our little city of houses. So, our houses are going to be kind of simple, kind of simple, I say, because my head hurts. So, maybe, possibly simple. So, this is just a envelope. Wow, Patty. So, my thought was, okay, so that's the envelope, and I want to cut this. Oh, first, let's... Wait a minute. Let's put this down to this. This is just cardstock. Because I want this to be sturdier. And yep, could have did that without you, but I did not. Because eventually, I treated this with, um, oh. yep, still haven't cleaned the desk off. I did put the, uh, my mats in the sink in hot water soapy water in the hopes that sometime today I might feel like I want to go deal with them. It's the beauty of nonstick mats. They really will clean off. I just been neglecting them. Well, that is done for. Okay. Um, I guess we'll use the real glue. But my head hurts too bad to care right now. But I am determined to keep up with these. Plus, I really wanted to do these Kintsuki houses, because, you know, houses. So, this is longer than my page, and I'm not going to worry about that, because we'll just add along. And down here, I don't think you're going to see it, but I want to add in some of my jelly prints anyway, because I want to. But I'm also going to paint on Louise's paper. Not that it needs it, but it does, because I want to put stuff in. I don't know. Stuff as we build our little town. So I cut 
so I just flipped this one over and I cut the, um, holy moly. Yep, it's going to be that kind of day. The flap, the piece of the flap, I cut it. See, I cut it. You can see what I did. It's not rocket science. So, because I want this piece, I should not have cut it there. Yeah, well, that's okay. Well, I should have cut it here, not there. So, hang on. We'll do it with this one. See if I can do it right with this one. Because that one will just make two houses out of. Because the houses aren't going to be the same size. Why would we want that? That would get boring quick. So what I wanted to do was come up and make a chimney. That's what I was going for. There, now we have our chimney stack, right? And then this piece will glue down, of course. Glue so this portion shut. And I doubt it's going to stay this wide, but let me see first. So this will be our roof, which is definitely not going to be that big. So we can cut that off. So I have a house and like a house. This is why I think I'll probably wind up using two pages because like I want some space. Space to move. So because we're working in such a smaller format that I'm used to, we'll have to do more houses. So like we'll cut cut this one here, you know. So this will be a house and we'll cut down this chimney. So, but the whole point of Kintsuki is to take pottery that's broken and then they mend it and use the gold or pewter mending and they write it make it a thing of beauty and they just work it right in All right and then we could have a fat house or we could make this like townhouses like they have um you know they have those mini separate houses over in england which we don't have as much here but i'm just grabbing different scissors guys so i can give this one a fun edge like that Give it a fun give it a fun roof line and then this one we can i don't know why i'm doing it now because i'm gonna have to do it again later because we haven't put the top stuff on i just want to kind of see get a feel for what i'm doing here so we'll have like a house and a house and so see we'll need background here okay all right all right so, I pulled some of my gel prints, but to make my own life easy, I, did, I limited what I could pull so that I wouldn't get overwhelmed because I do that. And also, I have our box of pieces we've been using, but the problem is, is it keeps getting bigger and bigger and we're not using any of our pieces. So, see, this matches this. So I could work this into the background, go around our, oh, I like this color too though. Mm -hmm. Could put some flowers over here on the edge maybe. Okay, let's do that, which didn't even need a background. So see, I'm already off course here. I'm not supposed to be worrying about the background right now. Probably gonna have to set the background aside so I don't get so distracted and just work on the houses. Cause that's the point of today is the houses. So here's my thought on the houses. Yep. My original thought was to just rip the houses apart and then um, mend them back together. And I still think on a few we'll do that, but because poor little Mr. Gnome had an accident. <laughs> yes, I went there guys. Um, where did I put it? I took the pieces of the gnome and I just sprayed some of them with color and figured we could put them on some of our pieces. Is this going to work? I have no idea. Let me close the glue up. So let's work with just one house. Let's just work with one house at the moment. So I have some homemade 
um, uh, modeling paste here. Yeah, this is going to get messy. Let me grab an apron. This is going to be messy, guys. So, I managed to go get my neck adjusted. Hopefully, that will help us, help me. And I am drinking um, some Element Chocolate Magnesium stuff. So, I'm hoping the magnesium will help with the migraines. So, I have my homemade model, um, modeling paste stuff. So, I just thought we would just kind of cover up our little house here with our modeling paste. Oh wait, we only need it to, we only need it underneath our roof line. Yeah, okay. And I'm not putting a lot on, just slapping it on. And I have no idea if this works. We might be throwing it aside and doing something else. As usual, we're gonna find out together. Okay, put that up, cause I wanna completely glue you shut. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some of our little rocks in here. I want to get some of the different colors going on. I think I have more purple than anything else. So this house will be dominantly purple. And then we'll put some of the pink. So it's usually plates that are being mended. mended. Wow. Yeah, words. So, oh shoot. See, I just spilled them everywhere. Oh, and I have some... I have some plain to pop in here too that I didn't that I didn't color right to make it look all rocky and scraggly and but I have to leave space in between them and I didn't plug in the thing yet. So plug this in so we can start heating up. See, see what kind of mess we can make today. So that's probably too many already, but I don't know because I haven't done this. Let's put a few more blues in. Take that big purple out and put a blue in here. That blue is very big, isn't it? <laughs> so then I feel like we need a third blue because we're off kilter here. Trying to make space in between. That's what I'm trying to do. And then where's our little roof line come to? Oh, way up there. Okay, I'm not even close. Spread it out. Spread the love. Spread the love. So, then, the chances of this staying is, you know, not that great. So, I don't think I put my modeling paste on thick enough to be honest, because it's already drying before I got my rock stone. But that's okay, because we're going to work with it. My bigger rocks definitely are not going to stay. So it's not actually, you know, pottery per se, but it's kind of pottery. Right? Are we up to, oh, now we're past the top. Okay, well, we'll just put that piece there. I got to have a blue. I have to have at least three blues in here. Oh, well, there's four, so that's okay. Because it needs to be balanced, at least. Put this purple down here at the bottom. Scoot the white over for the moment. Yeah, that looks okay, right? Yeah, I think that's okay. I just wanted to make sure the big ones were going to stay. They're not going to, but we're going to flood it afterwards, so that's okay. Well, that's my thought anyway, guys. And so as soon as the, I know, I got out the gun again. Can you believe it? I did. I'm going to get into this now. There's the hole. Oh, maybe these ones are not Okay, well, now it is. So, while that's working, or sitting, or whatever it's doing, See, is this ready yet? Is it sealed? So I have this really cheap little gun, so I don't know how this is going to work. We will see. It doesn't feel like it's even getting hot. 
Well, because I didn't plug it in. I plugged something else in. Okay. All right. So while that gets hot, we will do another house. So let's do at least half of this big house over here. Right? Because I think if you own one of these townhouse thingies, I don't think you have to keep the outside the same. You might. I don't know. But I feel like if it was mine, I wouldn't want to. Can you see this one? I want to make sure I'm at least in frame today. Yesterday was terrible about keeping it in frame. So, let's see. Just slather it on here. And I'm going to be thicker this time. Like, make it more smelt-like. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Good and messy. Okay. This time, I want to shake the pinks in here. Well, they're in there. <clears throat> it's in there, but you gotta get some to the bottom, Patty. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. And then put what's left over of my blue in there. I d did very little of the blue. I'm not sure. Well, I dropped them on the floor. That's why. I think I think we're off the side even here. So these ones are gonna stay. The nice thing is my modeling paste will dry clear, so that's cool. Get the last blue in there. Make sure you can see the pink, and I'll spray them if we need to, I don't care. Okay. So, and then didn't I have another little one? Yeah, right here. And then this one, we will do but we'll do it all in purple, purple and white. So just, I don't have very much left anyway. So we will scoop up what's left and kind of throw it in there wherever it lands. This is kind of fun, messy, messy. And then I should be able to put the modeling paste away before I knock it over. Here's some more purple, throw that in here. Doo -doo. Now we're going to have an odd number, and I'm trying to decide if that's going to make me crazy. Because this one isn't going to have it. I mean, it could, because I still have just the white. So, but I wanted to be able to def ooh, define these two away from each other, you know? Like, I should have did this before I did it, so I could see where the houses were. <laughs> One minute. Yeah. Oh, there. 100% chance of sticking, huh? Get up there, baby. You get back on there. Oh, okay, I'm going to spray you. Yeah, that was a great plan, huh? <laughs> so, okay, now that we know where my definition line is a little bit on that one, I'll just grab. What colors did I use? Purple, pink, and blue, right? So I very deliberately used vibrant colors so that they would pop off. What was I looking for? The pink. The pink. Because I wanted this one to still look pink. Do, do, do. And then I was going to add some of the white to this one. There we go. That's a bit more than I wanted. So let's just pick it up and kind of shake them back off like that. Oh, that shook a few too many off there. Here, let's. Oh, I got some in my stuff. There. Just do 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 do. Oh, yeah. Messy, messy. Well, okay. We all know I was going to get messy. There's like zero chance of not. That's why I always have sponges. So see, now we can press those back in. And then hopefully the hot glue gun will be ready to play. So you see where I'm going, right? We'll just use the hot glue gun and make our um, gold lines in between our repairs onto our little houses which is why I needed to leave space. Oh, get your roofs up. 
And this one, I kind of want to do it, ouch, with uh, just paper so it looks different. But then I feel like then I need a fourth house. So maybe we'll just do it with just the leftover white so that that way it'll look different. And that way we'll see the divide line. Here. So push all this stuff this way. Oh, I can smell the hot glue gun. It must be ready. Push that that way and then just use just white over here. And not as many bricks. We'll be very deliberate about this side. There. Okay. And we'll use a different color. All right, let me set this in the water and close that. Or I inevitably will knock it over. Where is it slid, Patty? Oh, Lordy. Well, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna set it on the opposite desk until I find the lid because that is not gonna end well for me. And away from the fan. Okay, because I do not want to clean that up later, frankly. Okay, so now, if this works the way I'm hoping it will work, let me get this one in line. Let's do these one at a time. You scoot over. Okay, let's start with this one here. So my hope is ooh, that I can fill the lines in, in between. Ooh. Get over there in between the uh, rocks. It's very much how they would repair their pottery. Oh, ow. Yep. Ah, this is why I don't use hot glue as a rule. So I'm kind of hoping to just be able to flood in between these and make it look as though it was repaired. Now I know I won't be able to get between those itty bitties. So I'm hoping I can kind of come back with um, paint if I need to for the little spots. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Well, I hope it's gonna look cool anyway. And we will have to back these with some cardstock, of course, because they're not, this is gonna be heavy on the front. That should go down once it, oh, okay, well, interesting. Can I just stick you right back in beside that? There. Let's get some in here. This would certainly be better with a um, glue gun that had a um, nice fine tip, but I wasn't gonna go out and buy a glue gun just, just for this. I mean, I have two now. I have this one, and then I have that big one that way heats up. Like, that thing's kind of crazy. I guess if I'd have thought this through, we could have just did put the glue down, and then, so if anybody tries to do this, if you see this and think you might want to do it, whoops, I think what would be easier is to actually put the glue down and then put your gems, rocks, whatever you're using. You could have did this with gems. I totally was only using paper until I broke this yesterday. Then place the gems and then it would look complete. But see what I'm doing is, is I'm gonna fill it so that everything is nice and even and then there's no, no sharp edges or anything. See, and then that way you know, it's still a nice even tag in the end. Didn't seem like it in the beginning, I know. I know, that's the beauty of it. Well, as long as it worked, it's the beauty of it. <laughs> Cause you never know, not everything works out. Yeah, often it does not, but this is kind of looking cool. So that where it's white right there is not going to be white. As soon as that dries, it'll be, it'll be gold. I'm just trying to go around this bottom edge one right here. Would be nice to have a little bit more control, I admit. 
and I do want to get right there. And then I'm going to pop this, oh, maybe I'm going to pop this purple one in there. Oh, it's attached to me. This little glue gun, though, I have to say, eats right through the um, glue. So having enough glue to do all of these in, one, in the gold, which is what I wanted, is probably not a possibility. Oh, that's already hard. Oh, I wonder if I can just hold the glue gun on it and melt it enough to get this in there. See if that'll heat it up enough to... I mean, I have a, you know... A gun so I can always go back over it with the heat gun and heat it up and then push anything in that needs it but right now my head doesn't want to play with a heat gun that's like not on my list of things to do so I'm hoping to avoid that for now so there's a pink one down there but it's hard to see so I'm just gonna kind of stick another pink one on top of it okay so that is like our mended pottery on the top of our house for that one. And then with this purple one, well, I still have gold in here. So let's use, let's move over to, let's move over to this one on the, let me get that one out of the way. Let's move over to this one here because I want these two to definitely, see this one is gonna kind of be just a mess. And I might have to go back and break more um, stones to put in here. So it's definitely not gonna get as much. So we're just kind of gonna go around it because it's got the little crumbles. And oh, maybe I can lift them up a little bit. Oh, well, it would help if you had glue. I was thinking if I could have lifted those little crumbles, I could have sat them right into it. Like, like that maybe? Yeah, sit down, sit down. Oh, oh, get off my finger. If you sit, you'd look perfect. Sit down. Obviously, nothing I'm using is nonstick. <laughs> oh no, come on, get off. Well, we might have to make a few more pieces. Oh, well, here's a purple. Okay. Okay, so move that because that's not good looking. So let me go around this and then I will stick a couple of these purples and stuff that are just laying around here in like that. And then here's a little pink we can put here and make it go around that. And here's another purple we can ouch put down here in the center lay that down yeah there that's better and then take this one maybe here. so I guess it's good that they're not glued all the way down because that way I can ouch move them and burn my fingers <laughs> and get the gold in between because the glue is very much or the yeah the modeling paste is still very wet so I can just kind of pick them up and then I think it'll look good in the end but for a minute here this one's gonna look a little crazy once it dries I think it'll be just fine Sorry, I know I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. This took more concentration than I was banking on. So my head is thrilled with my choices right now. So you have to ask yourself, did I learn anything yesterday? No, oh, maybe even worse, okay. But this piece is definitely going in there because that's cool looking. So now that it's cool, it'll sit there. And then I can put this pink right beside it but I want the pink to show look at that okay hang on I gotta clean my fingers they're full of glue at the moment 
Okay, we should move this one to safety. Go over there, little purple thing. So the glue is definitely not sticking yet to the um, the modeling paste because this one's so wet, which is kind of working against me and for me all at the same time in a weird kind of way because it's letting me push these around and in, ow, but then again, it's making these weird peaks. Ow, ow, ow. Because see, like we need something right in here. So I think I can maybe not push that in there. Okay, well, I guess we'll put another dab of glue there and put a purple right there. Ooh, this one's definitely more gold than anything else, isn't it? Let's see, we've been through a whole thing of glue again. I wanted to be finished by the time we got through the glue, darn it. Stick that one up there. I just need a little bitty bit of glue right there, and we could be done with this house. Shoot. All right, well, you know what? When I stick this next one in, though, it'll push the rest of the gold out, so that's okay. Because this one here needs some gold on that side of it before it tucks back in. Okay, when I tuck it in, it's not supposed to turn. It's supposed to keep its pink showing. Get off there. Come down here. Go around that one. Oh, okay, maybe it is easier to have them in place. Just leave some space first. Get in there. Tuck in. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Get in there, glue. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Almost done with this one. We're so close. Purple, tuck in. And then I need another little thing and tuck this blue in here. Tuck the blue. I need to be able to see. Ouch, the blue. Shoot, that one was hot. Yep. Blue. Okay, can we finish it off? Finish off. Do -do. What color is this one? This one's white, but I can come back and color it later. Put that one there. Oh, I'll trim the edges, don't worry. I will trim the edges. I feel like it's got a lot of blank spaces though. Like right there, feels like it needs something. There. All right, that'll be cute when it's done, right? Oh, it's a lot of gold, but that's okay. Now, now then, this one here, I want to be all silver. So, I don't know how much gold is left in our thing, but I guess I could run it right there. And right up here, we could do some gold. I'm looking around to see if I have any little pebbles left. I have this little stuff I could sprinkle in, like that. Can you see me? I'm just sprinkling in little, whatever I'm finding on the desk, little pieces of a, oh, here's a piece. It's a nice piece. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay, let me get that off. Here's a piece. Come down the edge with gold over here. I could stick this piece in here. There we go. Wow, okay, that one is looking very, very mended. <laughs> okay, well, my homes are mended. What can I say? These are mended homes. All right, so this one is gonna be odd. This one I'm wondering if we should just use paint in the, if we should spray it and then, cause it's got a lot of little bitties. Let me see if I can wipe them off and then we can place them actually. Oh, that maybe wasn't your best plan, Patty. Well, that's okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. But I wanted to get to. Yeah, this one's going to look different. Let me see. What do we have over here? Okay, let's do it this way. Let's put that over here in its holder for a minute. So if it leaks glue, it leaks it safely over there. Let's change this one up. So this is, um, what is this? Coffee filter. 
that I played on the gel plate with. Of course I did, because, you know, the gel plate is my friend. So, let's see, what do I have going on over here? Where is the matte medium? Right here. So let's set you, let's set this one that we've, we'll set that one safely aside. And this one can sit over here and keep drying. Hopefully I won't completely tell it. You guys can scoot onto this page. And then I'm just going to dump them right back into this little bowl. Most of them anyway. Okay? Because we're going to change this one up because that's not going to please me. First off, I guess we could um, spray it. Maybe. Do we want to spray it? No, let's give it not gold. Don't use gold, Patty. See, that was my automatic. Oh, let's put gold on it. Let's not do that. All right, let's just let's just start with this. There's some matte medium on there. Get my brush wet because apparently, oh my gosh, I didn't even wash my brush yesterday. That never happens. Oh, it's angry with me. Well, it's going to soak and we're going to use a different brush because it is mad. Shoot. That's a bummer. And it doesn't please me. Do I want to use this one? Or I have this really cool one. Hang on, I have another print over here. I also have this print. Where's my background again? Mm, I really love this print so much. Also, just the off prints from the jelly print. Maybe we'll start with this because I can, because it's so see-through. We're gonna start with this. So if we do it this way, let's, let's start with this. We might still go back to this. So we'll crumple this up really good. Crumple, crumple. And then when we put it down, we'll crumple it again. And that way, we'll get marks that we can then, don't go on that side, we bend my house. So I want to stay on this side, right? But I also want to be free to crumple. I need freedom. Crumple it up and let it, let it be what it wants to be over here. Right? So then, I feel like I have all my crumples in one space, which is not where I want them to be. Let's put a little more matte medium on here. It wasn't a little more, that was a lot. Okay, do some more crumpling. Crumple, 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 crumple. Because then we can go over all the crumples to with some, well, I was going to say gold, but I wasn't going to do this house in gold, was I? I forgot about that. So if I do this then, because this is going to be our little dividing line. Oh, my electricity just popped off for a minute there. That was odd. Sorry about that. I wonder what's happening. It needs to not, because I do not have time for that kind of nonsense. Too much happening. There. And then, it's not sticking as quickly as I expected it to. I will cut this portion off. Because I don't want any overlap, of course. Onto our other house. Get off the other house. There. And then, I didn't even seal this one. See how I am? over my fingers. Everybody come back in this side now. Get on my little crumples down. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do, do. Crumple, crumple. Beautiful crumples. All right, so now while we let that set for a minute, okay, we'll set that one aside and just let it, just let it be for a moment. I'm going to set it in front of the fan even and let it just let it judge for a minute. 
And I will stick that right in the water so I don't forget this time. We will move on to this little house. There's some more stuff I can stick up in there. We'll move on to the purple house. And I got some little rocks right here I can still play with. And for purple, are you done squirting gold? Get the gold out. It's odd that it's still looking gold when there's silver in there. Because they also do platinum. See, it's still showing up gold. And it's went through a whole stick of, of silver now. There's the silver. So they also do platinum. was one of the things that they used to repair too. Which is why I was swapping to this color. Because I do still have some, a little bit of gold over there. But I wanted to represent both. It's way easier with the big rocks, let me tell you. So, oh, let's place a couple of rocks in here. Let's go around these rocks down here. So it's not burning me now because I have a dried piece of um, the glue on my fingertip. And that's what I'm pushing it around with. Once it dries and I clear off all these little extra pieces, I think this is going to be lovely. So, just trying to get into... This one might even wind up being my favorite color to use. Because it's very glittery and blingy. Well, because I'm using a glittered um, glue, of course. So here's another one where we can move it so that we can definitely see that we're going around it. I know you guys can fast forward this part, but there's no good way that I can think of around it. And I don't edit, so I don't fast forward. I don't even know how to fast forward the speed for you guys. I tried to figure that out and made a big old mess. Lost an entire video. I don't know where it's at. Somewhere in YouTube world. I don't know what it's doing there, but it's not showing up on my page. That's what it's not doing. So, yeah, I clearly have no clue about that. Put this one in between over here. Where was those? Here's another purple. Put a purple over here. Oh, it's sticking to me. Now I got too much glue going on. Move these ones a bit. So yeah, I should um, definitely should have left more space. But this one is going like right over top of them where the gold did not. The gold went in between where the, the silver is just kind of going right, right over top. It's not sinking down. It's just it's it's just encasing them. So that's not as good. That's not making me as happy. So that's an interesting thing to know. I wonder if the glue that they have in the gold must be a heavier glue so it sinks. Because, you know, when you're doing paint pours, you have to pay attention to the consistencies because of the, the weight is what makes one color sink and one color stay up. There. So now... I'm just trying to deliberately put some on and then make it look like stick the piece of pottery around it. Pottery. It's really ceramic, guys. It's not really pottery. Thankfully, because the only pottery I have in this house is my son's handmade pottery. So if I break that, I'm going to cry. That, that would leave me very sad. Because... I don't want to lose his treasures. He took the time to hand make them and I would like to keep them whole and intact. So they are actually, because we have cats, they are actually tacked down on our bar so that they can't get knocked over. Because we're not exactly a gentle family. You know, kind of like bulls in a china shop going on around here. 
especially when his friends are over and, you know, balls start getting thrown in the house and stuff. And so everything is tacked down with, I think we have alien tape under it right now. And that stuff holds, so nothing's moving. Okay, so if I do that, then I got to get it on the other side. But, oh, hang on, I'm still trying to stick a few, few more pieces in here. Nope, that one went hard. Okay, hang on. All right, so let's try to get it on this. Yeah, this stuff, just it kind of in cases, I'm having to be very, very gentle, which, you know, I excel at. So I would like to get this one. I'm trying to see if I can melt it again. And just put a little bit in so I can stick this in here. Because this is where my... Oh, well, I can make the chimney come down higher. More. You know what I meant. The, the roof. Because we still got to do our roofs. We got to decorate the houses, for heaven's sakes. So, we need something. Is there anything in there that's purple? No. I mean, I guess I could just try to squirt it purple on this end or something like do a little zhuzh in the background right which I was going to do anyhow so you know I mean this was the next step but I was kind of hoping to get all the stuff in there first right to kind of finish it off and deepen it in and Get the, some of these, because uh, this one I have white stones in, so I was going to deepen the stones down because make them contrast better. I still would like one more stone here, so it's not really a stone, it's a piece of the um, glue, but I'm going to stick it here like it's a stone, just like that. And then, ow, nope, ow, ow, it stuck to me. There. Okay, and then we'll go around the edge like that. All right, so I think we're done, right? Is that all of them? Let me grab the other one so I can undo the glue gun. That would be good. That would make me happy. Oh no, I didn't glue any to this one. Shoot. So, dang it. Well, Hmm. Is that what we're going to do? Yes, because now everybody else has them. So. so let's try it this way. If I do that, and then I put some, maybe I can be very deliberate and then go around it like that. I would think would be easier. And then shove some more in, right? Go around that one, flood around it. I would think this would be the easier way to do it, but the other one's already had it on there, so. Let's stick that one there. Should have flooded a little more right there. Scoot out, dude. I don't got time. Ouch. Ow, ow. Oh, lordy. I think I'm out of silver. Well, I guess we're going back to gold. Ow. Okay. Oh, no, there's one more silver. Maybe this one will get both. That would be cool. Wanted to put more there and shove it down. Ow. Shoot! Not as easy on my hands, I'll tell you. So I have as many pieces. We might have to smack the gnome, poor gnome. So I have pieces to stick in this stuff. I don't know if I like this one as much. I need to. Uh, sorry, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. I think I like it better with the gold, actually. Now that we've done it. But that's okay. We're just going to keep scooting because now we know. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Sorry, little no. Yeah, 
Yep. Yeah. I needed a few more pieces. Sorry. Yeah, my head does not like this. My head is not appreciating me right now at all. The things we do for our art. <laughs> the pieces are definitely getting bigger. Oh, that's too big. Well, we're running out of, of glue quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Running out of glue. This is going to look weird. That's all right, because I'll just go back and paint it. Right here, push the rest of the silver out. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, we need some at the top. <laughs> do, 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 do. Whoops. Ow! Bugger. Ugh. Okay, go around it. Around this one. Do, do, do. How's it look? How's it look? It looks a little bare, doesn't it? I think we can deal with it. I think it's okay, actually. Oh, which is good, because I think the glue gun just gave up on me. Ow, that piece was still hot. Oh, all right, stick it there. There, now you lay down. Oh, gold. All right, we're back to gold. Okay, ta-da, all right, I think that worked. I think it worked, guys. Uh, what do you think? We're probably at an hour and I'm still playing with the glue. Well, but we got our houses done, didn't we? See there? That's our little townhouse. Where's our, where's our page? Houses. All right, so I think I would like this house to be have a shorter roof line than this house what I think. So we are going to so scissors, recut this one. Oh, Yay-ish. That is not even close to straight, is it? Not that they were ever going to be anyway. And then I made, with the modeling paste, I made some bricks and such to put on the top of our roofs. I wanted us to have fun little roofs. We need some, we need some black. Do I have black in here? I feel like we need black to outline our houses, if it will. <laughs> Where's that little paint dauber thing from yesterday that I found? I wonder if it's still working. This is that little Tim Holtz thing, so I guess we'll see if it works the second day, won't we? Kind of. Kind of. I just want to outline the houses a little bit. Because, you know, they're not exactly straight houses. But they need some definition. They need some definition. So... Gonna be a little over an hour on this one, I feel. That's okay. All we have to do is pop the houses down onto our page. Well, and decorate our roofs. So this roof line is gonna get a brick roof, like that. So we're gonna flip them this way so I can see what I am doing, and then I'm gonna. Get my bricks going here and the glue. I'm going to move that again because that will be a disaster waiting to happen. And I'm going to glue bricks on this one. Come here. Bricks on here. And see, they're crinkling and cracking as they should. That's the hope. Going to have to help them out a little, I think. 
It's okay. Right? So, as I get it down, I want to, where is this one going to fall? Okay, we want to, you move out of the way. We want to cut it with these. Brook line. Brook line. And then, oh, oh, give it a chop. Okay, and then we need um, a little bitty brush and some, you know what, let's use, let's use this gold. This is the um, Inks by Seth Apner Gold. Yeah, this gold's great. Because in here, I deliberately was making crinkles. See how the texture paste will crack? Yep, that's what we did because we are still working on our broken pottery lines. I'm hoping, anyway, it should fall into our cracks. Fall in the cracks. Let's show our cracks off. Oh, I still feel like that might need to come down a little more. Yeah, we're gonna leave it there for now. This one is having issues. What's going on here, this piece? This piece does not need to be here at all. And this piece doesn't really need to be here either. Although, could have made a cool, huh, all right. So this one is gonna get this page here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with the ink. And then I'm gonna wipe it back off. Well, I'm gonna dab it off. I don't want the whole thing covered in the ink. Just, just I want to see the cracks, which I made with. I think it's supposed to be a spider web, but it doesn't look a whole lot like a web to me. And I don't know how much we need, so I'm just guessing. Are you my? Oh yeah, because you took the rust off, Patty. So. We will put this on this house, this roof line. So our houses are kind of heavy because of the ceramic on the front, which, you know, no surprise. I think I actually would like to, hang on, hang on, because this one I never sealed down, so seal that down. And then I think I'm actually going to do this one this way because I'm going to wrap it a little bit over the back just to help it stabilize that back a tiny bit. That's what I'm thinking. And then I think I went down one line this time. Almost, almost, Patty. There. Ouch. That way, we're only cutting off one side. And then, I don't wanna see the Christmas tree that I left on there. That's from the card, so. We'll just wrap it up with that, and then we'll cut it off. Oh wait, we'll use the fun scissors to cut it off. There. I didn't do a very good job, apparently. All right. So instead of making a part two, I think I'm just going to let the video roll, and we'll see if it'll put it up that way. Okay, and then I'm sure I will be adding more of this a couple of times as I go because I really want to enhance these edges. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the cracks. Because this definitely has cracks, so I'm not sure why it's not picking up all those little, see all those yummy cracks in there? Can you, let me see if I can get it to focus. Just one sec. There, now you can see it. See those cracks? Aren't they beautiful? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's our first set of houses. And I forgot to leave space for the doors. So we will put doors on eventually. 
because we need a door for tomorrow. So that's those houses. Those ones are going to sit here, I think. Where's my other houses? I don't know. Because I moved the houses, guys. Shoot. Why do you do these things, Patty? Here's our purple house. Purple house is a little bit boring. I'm not going to lie. Looks a little boring now that all the other stuff is going on. So, I have this print that I did on the gel plate. This is another roll-off. Apparently, I grabbed all the roll-off sheets today. And I think I just slip this like this in here. Just like just like so to fill this space in because our houses are mostly gonna cover it. I don't really want I want a jaggedy line though. There. Like that. I'll make it work. Not to worry. There we go. Just like that. That's what we're going to do. Just like that. That's how we're going to cover this piece here. Told you we'd come back to it. But I don't want straight lines at all. Is that covered? Yeah, that one's a little too... Toot toot. Bam. There we go. Just like that. Just got to see where we got to be. And I actually have lost one of our houses. I set it aside so we wouldn't lose it. <laughs> and I lost it. So, huh, you might be doing the to be continued on houses. She's Patty. <sighs> I am a mess. Don't let Patty have my grain days and try to do videos. That's two days in a row. Do you think I'm going to learn it? No, probably not. Don't count on it. You still can't find anything on this desk. Sorry if I'm flipping too much. I know sometimes that makes people sick. Okay, all the little ceramic pieces can scoot over now. I think we're done with you for the most part. Ugh, come up a little bit. Oh. Okay, background. Boom. Background. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. So, we have houses. Right? Where is the page going to um, bend? Because i got to cut the page in half somewhere. So I have to have the houses not even, you know? And then this house. So where's the bottom of the freaking page? That would be helpful. That would be helpful to know, Patty. I'm already thinking about magical creatures for tomorrow. Like, so I know that I want one of these doors to open to lead into tomorrow's page. So, do I even want all these on the same page? That's the question. Here's the pretty door. This is my favorite door here. It's just funny because it's not even finished. So, Point of this door was to cut the bottom of the door. That's why I sealed it. No, oh, but I sealed it a little too well. All right, so we could. Oh no, I can still cut it. So the point of this door here. This is supposed to be the door. There we go. This door has to be backed onto something heavy. So, I have more cardstock for that, but I was thinking about putting it on here. This is a um, toilet paper roll. Because when you cut that open, that's like heavy duty enough, right? So, when I open it, this is going to go here. 
Okay, so that's the plan there. Yep, I don't know why I had to cut that open then. I could have just cut this open. Oh, so that pin did not work in here at all. That sucks. Man. Oh, there. I guess it did. I guess it did. Okay, so this one is going to lead into the next room, into the Effie's living room. So we're going to go from this street scene into Effie's living room. That's my plan. So this is going to be a door. And we have to put a... I don't know which way I want my door to open. I feel like I'm just going to open this way. So... So... It's upside down. I feel like... Yeah, it was going to go upside down. It sure was. So this is going to be the door that leads into Effie's living room, which is going to be this page, and this page is going to sit behind this page for tomorrow. Like that. So these are the little houses in the town. It's our little lake in the background. I don't know if I want this one in here. I actually feel like I might have too many houses in our town. What do you think of that? Because I want... Yeah? Okay. We might leave the purple one out. After all that work of freaking making it. I mean, it'll get in the book. Don't worry. It'll show up somewhere. But, okay. So what we still need is our door handles. Come on, sir. We need door handles. Because how can you tell their houses? Where are my things? I really got to get around to labeling these things. I don't know. Well, they might be too big. I might have to use brats. Are these going to be too big? Might be okay on that one. Brats. I might have to use brats instead, guys. Let's see what we have. So the plan was to use these little knockers, right, to go in, which that still might work right there. Is it too big? I can't tell. Let's come up here. Does that look obnoxiously too big? What's going on? Hmm. I don't know. So we'll figure that part out, but our roof is not done. Our roof isn't done. How did I not do the roof? Okay. Well, let's finish the roof into Effie's house. Because this is just the background to our town. So that doesn't matter. Let's finish this one. Because this is going to be the room into the house. So let's work on the roof to our, our house while it's gluing down. Because it's going to take a while to glue down. Should have worked on just one door, I guess. But that would not be my nature. Okay, so now we have painted painted music paper. Yep. And that is going to go here on the inside and on the first layer here is my plan. Get some glue, Patty. Wow, I wonder how I spilt purple everywhere. What is spilling that's purple? Something purple is leaking everywhere. Oh, this purple, this whole jar of purple just spilled on the entire desk. So I have purple running everywhere. I am so glad that I have a sheet covering everything. Well, now I'll be putting paper all over my desk to, cut, to catch all that ink because we're not going to waste it. Um, hmm. Interesting. Well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to have, oh, close this one. This one's not closed either. Oh, my goodness. Okay, i got to just not film when I have headaches. This is not a great plan. Yeah, the whole back of my desk is purple. Purple liquid everywhere. All right. This doesn't have a lid. It's all leaked forward. <laughs> There's so much of it. 
That doesn't have a lid. Apparently I haven't put lids on anything. Okay. So let's put this here. Some, well, cut that too small. Sure did. But I didn't want that white strip on the bottom here where it might show. And I want it to be when the house is flipped, when it's flipped over, that is not where it flips. Hang on, it flips here. So I want it to be, I want it to, I want it to read the proper way. Did that make sense? So right here, oh, for heaven's sakes, Patty, you can do this. I'm not drinking my magnesium either. Did you notice? It's just sitting here beside me like that. Yeah, it's not really that complicated except for all the purple. Look at this. Look at this from the purple that's every, it's on everything. Like Everything is taking a bath in purple at the moment. And I'm just carrying on like it's not there. Here, here's a paper to purple. Do that. Okay. All right, so next time we're only building a house. But that's not what it said. It said houses. Plus, we're going to have houses on the page. We might have to do a part two and finish the outside page on our first day off. It would have been really cool to be able to go around the pages, but um, with uh, to sew around the pages. But because I was doing this, I was like, that's not going to end well. So did not go there. Almost caught myself in time. Well, migraine stopped me anyway, but. All right, so when that's flipped open, that will show correctly. Okay, first page done. And then I just want to flip this over while right now. Oh, did it go under the mat? Oh, that would be bad. If it's on my real mat, I'm gonna be mad. It is, oh, well, that's definitely gonna force me to clean my desk, isn't it? Because it's on my actual mat and stuff. On the plastic, it seeped underneath. And I don't want to ruin my craft mat, my cutting mat. And we'll put that there. Yeah, so we're going to stop this video so I can clean the mess, apparently, which was not my plan. I wanted to finish this little house. Well, I'm going to finish this house and show you. And then I will do the rest. And then, so this is going to come up here, okay, and then we're going to use this paper there. So now I'm going to go to this paper, which is also, hmm, I think this is, I think when I was, um, I think it's a ghost print from Jelly Printing, It's my guess. So, yeah, suddenly just everything's going all wrong. Do you see that? That's just how it works. Here we were, just cruising along, making houses. Although, at least we accomplished the houses. So that's cool. We accomplished our houses, which was the task of the day, was to do the houses. So I'm happy with that. I'm very unhappy with the purple all over my desk. That's a bugger. It's very unfortunate. Especially since I liked that color. I don't know that I like it enough of all the stuff I'm going to have to dye with it now to not waste it, but that's how it goes. I have a lot of backgrounds in that color. Well, potential backgrounds. Okay, so this one needs to be up one so that it looks like a layered roof, see? And then this one will come up one more and we will put something else there. And what? What will we put there? Well, look at, we have all this stuff just sitting in purple. So, I'm sure some of the purple is going to show up, guys. What are the chances? Okay, so then we'll put some of our, um, our modeling, our modeled um, roofs so we can put stuff in it here let's put a little bit of purple in the cracks 
See if it'll show the cracks. I'm just trying to make it see the cracks in there. If I can get the cracks to show up. And then when it's dry, I can go over it and dry brush it with white. And that can sit on our little bitty piece, which is this last piece here. And this will be the door that we walk through to get into Effie's living room. Whew, I am messy. Not as messy as I'm about to be, though. I really, really don't want to clean that up. It was very unfortunate. Because that is all kinds of a mess. I mean, I know rubbing alcohol will take most of it off, but I was really looking forward to just putting my head down. So, you know, that was not my plan. All right, there we go. There's the house. And of course, I will go around each piece and highlight them, but there's our house. And then this here is still on there because when I cut this open, I'll use that to attach it to the main uh, piece. Um, so our door will open up and then like this. And then on the other side will be Effie's living room. I'm going to have to glue this piece down. I shouldn't have opened that. But I'm going to get this um, clamped down really good first. So, all right, sorry about my mess, but um, everything else is good. So, yeah, on the other side of that door will be um, this door, I think, if I can manage it. Hopefully, I will be able to lead us a door that will overlap, well, our door will overlap where that door is, you know because it'll be a different page on top of this page. So when we walk in, we'll see Effie sitting on his couch. Is my plan, kind of thing. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna clean my mess and, but I do love our little houses. So that came out super cute. Where's our house? So our houses are cute. And um, I will see you guys again tomorrow. So, all right, love you later, bye.